Hello my dear students. This is the exercises of cell structure and functions. You are chapter number 8 of NCRT science. Now in first question, indicate whether the following statements are true or false. These are true and false. A part, unicellular organisms have one celled body. Yes, as you know, single celled organisms are called unicellular organisms. So this is true. Muscle cells are branched. Muscle cells are branched. Yes, this is again a true statement. C part, the basic living unit of an organism is an organ. This is wrong because we all know that the basic living unit of an organism is cell. So it is false. Amoeba has irregular shape. Yes, this is again a true statement. Now next question. Make a sketch of a human nerve cell. What function do nerve cells perform? Now draw the structure like this. This is the structure of a nerve cell. These are the dendrites. Their function is to gather the information, to receive the information from the different parts of the body and passes this information to the nucleus of the cell. This is the nucleus, which is the control center of the cell. It contains genetic material also. Now, uh, this is known as cell body and uh, this structure is known as axon covered with myelin sheath. The information from here, uh, it passes in the form of electric impulse through this axon and this is the tail part of the nerve cell having branches where this information is transferred to the next nerve cell. Now, what is the function of nerve cell? The function of nerve cell is to receive and transfer messages. It helps in the working and coordination of the body. Okay. It helps in the working and coordination of the body. Next is write short notes on the following cytoplasm as you know it is a jelly like substance which is found between the nucleus of the cell and the cell membrane. It is made up of carbon, hydrogen, 
ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन एलिमेंट्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस सेल ऑर्गेनल्स लाइक माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया गॉल्गी बॉडीज राइबोजोम्स एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एक्सेट्रा नो नेक्स्ट इज राइट शॉर्ट नोट ऑन न्यूक्लियस ऑफ अ सेल नो न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल इज द कंट्रोल सेंटर ऑफ द सेल इट हैज न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस जेनेटिक मटीरियल डी एन ए इज प्रेजेंट एज इन क्रोमोजोम्स नो न्यूक्लियस has nucleoid inside it now which part of cell contains organelles cytoplasm it contains all the organelles of the cell Now next is make sketches of animal and plant cells state three differences between them now you can make the sketches of animal and plant cells from your ncert book the three differences between them are plant cell animal cell right in this form plant cell it consist of cell wall whereas plasma or cell membrane is present in animal cell second difference is plastids like chloroplast is present in plant cell these plastids are absent in animal cells no third difference is there are large vacuoles in plant cells whereas 
साइज ऑफ वैक्यूल्स इज स्मॉल इन एनिमल सेल्स नाउ दीज आर द मेन डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन प्लांट एंड एनिमल सेल नेक्स्ट वन इज स्टेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यू क्रियॉट्स एंड प्रियो क्रियॉट्स यू क्रियॉट्स आर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंडेड ऑर्गनल्स having nucleus membrane bounded example higher plants and animals whereas प्रोकैरियोट्स लैक मेम्ब्रेन बाउंडेड सेल ऑर्गनल्स एग्जाम्पल बैक्टीरिया and blue green alga these are primitive type of or uh, cell cells prokaryotes are the primitive types of cells and eukaryotes are the modern type of cells okay complex question number 7 where are chromosomes found in a cell state their function chromosomes are found in the nucleus of the cell their function is to carry genes on them and to transfer the characters from parents to the next generation next is question number 8 cells are the basic structural units of living organisms explain so this answer is explained with the help of a flow chart cells they make tissues and tissues make organs these organs they collectively make organ system and various organ systems make an organism in this way cells are the basic structural units of living organisms as this flow flow chart shows 
that how an organism is made up of organ system and how organ systems are made up of different organs and uh, these organs are again made up of various tissues and these tissues are the specialized cells group which perform a specific function again the basic unit or the origin of all this is cell therefore cells are the basic structural units of living organisms explain why chloroplast are found only in plant cells because chloroplasts are the sites of photosynthesis which happens in the plants only question number 10 complete the crossword with the help of clues given below across this is necessary for photosynthesis yes it is chlorophyll green color pigment which absorbs the sunlight term for components present in the cytoplasm organelle the living substance in the cell is known as, known as protoplasm and the units of inheritance present in the chromosomes they are known as genes now down the group green plastids are known as chloroplasts formed by collection of tissues organ it separates the contents of the cell from surroundings medium membrane empty structure in the cytoplasm is known as vacuole and a group of cells is known as tissues these are your exercises of ncert science chapter cell structure and its functions Thank you have a nice day